Hey there everybody, it is Jester Peach from the Peach Chronicles here, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you something a bit different, and this is going to be how to install Project M, and how to use custom character skins and battle port, or not battle, and portraits and stuff like that. So, uh, I hope you enjoy, uh, I'm going to try to piece this together properly, so it might cut out some parts because, um, it might like cut okay just never mind uh so first uh let's get started on how to install project m now my actual sd card is in my wii currently and i already have it everything set up so we're going to be using a folder which will act as our sd card because the sd card is is simply like a portable folder so this is what we're going to be using for our sd card um so Unfortunately, this only works in North America and some of South America. Um, that's just how it is, uh, unfortunately, although not a lot of my viewers, uh, most of my viewers are in North America, so that's good. But, oh, oops. But, um, but, yeah, that's it. And you have to have a 2 gigabyte SD card. Um... Uh, this is because the Wii, when it first came out, only supported 2 gigabytes, and since it's a Wii game, it still only supports 2 gigabytes. I'm going to be doing it on my Wii U, which still completely works. It works the exact same way. Uh, yeah. It works the literally the exact same way as the Wii, except you just have to go into the Wii menu before you start. So you will need a copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Alright, um, so let's get started, and you're going to want to go to download the game first. So, if you go on Google Chrome and go to the official Project M website, it says that um, it's been like six years since they started, and now they've stopped. So, it's just basically they shut it down. However, there will end, however, and there will be a link to this in um, the description, you can get a mirror download. And here it is. Um, so what you're going to want to do is don't use the tor don't use the torrent, be um, because it's a torrent. Um, but just download the home download the hackless. So don't use the homebrew. I mean you can, but I don't know how. So it's safer off if you just download the hackless. Now I already have it, so it's loading. It's going to go to embed. It's going to go to this site. And then once you click download through your, just click download through your browser and it should download. I mean, I already have it. So you should get a .zip file like this. No homebrew 3.6 .zip. Now you're going to want to move that to the fake SD, and it will unzip it in there. It will. Um, sorry, it won't. What am I saying? I can't. I can't English today. Um, it will not actually move. It'll just copy itself onto the SD card, so this will still remain in your desktop. But, yeah, just remove it to this folder. Then you're going to want to open it using... I have 7-zip, but you can open, open it using just about anything. Then just extract it into your SD card, and it might take a while to extract. It is loading. All right, and it just finished extracting, so you just want to close that. And it should be like this, so you have the .zip file and everything else right here. Um, remember Project M, because that's going to be your main folder for modding and stuff. Um, and keep the .zip file in here. It's fine if you keep it in there, and that is Project M installed. So you can safely take out the SD card from your computer, put it in your Wii U, or we and start it up and I'll show you what to do next alright guys so make sure that the SD card is in your Wii or Wii U again make sure that it's two gigabytes and then load up and then load up um, Super Smash Brothers Brawl now I'm using the Wii U so I'm going to load it up using On the Wii, it's the exact same, literally. You just don't have to go through the Wii U thing. And of course, I'm going to Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, 
if you're like me, when I had my Wii, you had to clean your, uh, you had to clean your, um, Wii with, like, a homemade cleaning, like, the disk drive, and just to get this game working, but on the Wii U, thankfully, it works normally. But, um, also, you're just gonna want to make sure that all your stages are, custom stages are deleted, um, if they aren't, this won't work, which I know that's unfortunate is if you have some good custom stages, but you can make more in Project M. And it's loading up, so then now you're gonna want to go to the vault and make sure you wait a bit, don't go too fast or else the game might crash. So then just load it up and Slage Builder. Now that's gonna happen, but don't um, don't get freaked out when that happens, especially when this happens. Don't get freaked out when that happens because this will come up. And yes, you will you will have to go through this every single time you every you have to go through that every single time you load up Brawl, but it's fine. Um, if you downloaded the version that I told you to download. Don't select update because, of, of course, there won't be an update. But um, since we downloaded the no Wi Fi version, which um, Wii Wi Fi was shut down anyways, so it doesn't actually matter. But um, so no one's gonna actually be playing with you. But so that's why just, just select play. And I don't know anything about add ons. We're going to be learning about character skins and stuff like that. And we are here. Please secure your wrist trap to securely contain hype. And we are here. And it is glorious. Absolutely glorious, I tell you. Okay, Choose your fight. character. Choose your character. Um, there's many different character skins. Like this, this like evil version of Peach. Luigi. There's Mr. L. And of course, there's the obvious Mewtwo and Roy that are here. And there's many different characters and special things that you can choose from, different stages. Even Whoa. Mario looks different. Um, but that, and that is all for installing Project M. And now, Whoa. let's get to installing custom characters. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to install custom skins. And, um, just so you, uh, by the way, just ignore all the stuff over here and over here. The stuff that we're going to be using is going to be in the middle. Um, like over here. So, now we don't need a fake SD card because we have a real one, which has Project M installed on it. Already. Which is my, um, which is my version, which is mine. Um... My project M. Uh, sorry if I can't talk right now, but um, now you're going to want to install a program called Brawlbox, and there's going to be a link in the description below. Um, here it is. It's in Dropbox. Just click download, and it will download for you. Again, cancel, and you're going to want to export that, or not export, unzip it into. Um, you're going to want to unzip it into a thing, and then you can get the exe which is right here and now I'm going to want to open it and by the way I didn't make that Dropbox link so oh what's that I didn't make that Dropbox link so kudos to the person who did thank you um, thank you to the person who did uh, just want to then you're going to want to click file I screwed this up didn't I Alright guys, sorry about that. I just realized that you don't need Brawlbox for this part. However, you will need it for the character portraits part. So, it's safe to just download it anyways. Um, for the custom characters, I'm going to go to Brawl Vault. And I found this custom character, um, Pink Gold Peach, which I'm going to use. And um, you can and a good website to find custom skins stuff like that is Brawl Vault. And you can just click on a character and find custom skins for them. Who are these? Okay, well, yeah, you can just find custom skins for all of them, and I'm going to 
use this pink gold peach. And so usually you can just download it and there's a Dropbox. I'm going to download it. Download and then just save it to your desktop. And it's going to load. So I'm going to close that. And then you of course you can just unzip it. And I'm going to extract it into a custom folder. New folder. All right, guys. So I just extracted the file, and um, of course, there's multiple here. Although for yours, you don't, you won't necessarily need multiple. You can just use one. So I'm just going to take this one, and you're going to go. You're going to see this in here, and um, there's a there's a bunch of these. Uh, so yours, just focus on this one file, the .pcs file. Um, it's going to name fit something and then a number. So what you're going to want to make sure, if it's not named that, rename it. So it says, um, rename it so it is fit with a capital F. Then the name of your character with capital, so I'm going to do Peach. And then for you, you can just do 00, zero which will replace the stand... Zero, 00 replaces the standard, like the first, um, the or, the original sprite. Um, so I'm doing zero, 00, but you can do something else. I might change it. Now, once you have that, go into go into your SD card folder and go to Project M, PF, Fighter, find your character, Peach and replace one of them. So I'm going to actually replace fit peach 03. And so you're going to want to remove those. I'm going to delete them. Um and of course you don't have to actually delete them, but I am. Now going to here, find that PCS file that you just had. I'm going to rename it to 03 actually because I don't want to delete the original. And once you have that, you can move it into here. Fit Peach, fit peach 03 pcs copy to Peach, and it should be, and it's right here. Now, that is all for making custom skins. Or not making them, but installing custom skins. Now, you might want to know, how do I make, like, the character portraits? Because the portrait is going to still be the standard Peach. But... You can replace that um, by using Brawl Vault, which I mentioned before. Now, I'm going to take this picture as my character. Is it? Okay, well, it's changing. But I'm going to take this photo, and I'll be right back. All right, once you have that, once you have your image, and I have mine, right here um just go to your sd card project m pf menu 2 then sc underscore cell character dot pack and you just keep that in mind now go into brawl box file open and now go to the same thing so right here sc underscore cell character dot pack Open it, and go to car bust tex, and expand that by double clicking on it. And then you're going to want to find your mix, mis, uh, miscellaneous data. And your it depends on your character. And I will leave a I will leave a um, guide in the description below from which number equals what character. And then you're going to want to find that. All right, so mine, since it's peach, is um, num is 12. So I'll double click that, open it, and there's textures. And open that, double click that to open it. And you're just going to find, find yours. So this is one, two, three, and we edited the three as well. Um, it doesn't actually, I guess it does 12, one, 12, two, 12, three. Um, 
So yeah, there's all a bunch of these here. And you're just going to want to find the one that you want to replace. So I'm replacing this one. And you can just click replace. And then find the document that you want to replace it with. And make sure that it is a PNG. Um, I have mine right here. Open it. And it might look weird right here. That might look kind of weird. But it will look normal in the end. Trust me. All right, now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you click save, and it might take a while to save because you did put that in there. And then you close it, and then that should be good. So let's test it out in the real Project M. All right guys, so we are in here, and let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. Alright, let's load it up. All right. Let's go to verses, fight. All right, and we will we'll choose our character. All right, now let's go, and there she is. And of course, it's low resolution, unfortunately, but a lot of the custom ones have actual like custom portraits that are good. Um, this one, of course, I just made myself, but at least it does something. All right, so let's put up a random CPU. And let's play. So as you can see, it's right here. It's right here completely. It's fully done. Um, it's fully functional. And the only reason for yours, the only reason for your custom skin to not work would be if it was, um, if, if the custom skin you downloaded was messed up. Um, that's the only reason why it shouldn't work because this sh this works every time and like and the good thing about this is that it's never going to update so there's things that you need to do will never change because of it, because of the fact that it won't update um, yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this hope this helped you helped you a lot um, I I knew it would certain I knew it would help me if I was looking for something like this um, so, um, don't forget to subscribe for more Z videos. I might do more. I'm gonna do Project M videos probably more. But don't. But subscribe for more videos. I might do some more tutorials in the future. Um, yeah. And I will see you guys all next time. Good.